this video, um, I'm going to be showing you how to create a Lego self-portrait. So there's two parts to that. There's Lego and there's self-portrait. So the Lego part means it's going to look like a Lego person, right? Something you would find in a Lego case. And then the self-portrait part means it's going to be a portrait of yourself. So it's going to be have a little bit um, in there to tell you about what you look like. So the hair or the face or the shirt will be something about you and your personality. So it's going to be a combination of both a Lego person and um, a self-portrait, something that represents yourself. Okay, so we're going to start in this video. It's going to show you how to create the Lego body. And then in the next video, it's going to show you how to customize it, how to add things to it to make it look like you and not just a random Lego person. So we're going to start um, kind of towards the top of our paper, but we're going to leave a space about that big because we want to be able to add the hair on when we're done. So we're going to leave a space like that and we're going to create a line that goes down and then it's going to curve at the corner. It's not quite a point, so it's going to curve a little bit like that. And then it's going to go over and it's going to curve and go back up again. So it's straight up and down, straight across, but then it's got a little curve right in the middle, I mean in the corners of each side. And then we're going to, that's going to be the bottom of the head. And then we're going to make the neck. So we're going to make a short line down and a short line down. That's where it connects to the body. And then we're going to make the line for the shoulders. So when you make the line for the shoulders, it's going to be just a little bit wider than the head. Your shoulders come out a little further than your head, and it's the same thing on a Lego person. So we're going to make it go just a little bit further than your head, like that. And then we're going to curve these down. Just a little curve like that. And then when we make the body, it's going to come out at a little bit of an angle, but not like super far out. We're just going to do just a slight angle. So the line goes straight, but it comes out a little so that it's wider down here than it is up here. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Something like that. And then we're going to do a line across to connect them. All right. Then you need a rectangle that goes across just like that. A skinny long rectangle. And then we're going to do a rectangle that's a little bit taller. So it's going to go like this. Okay? So these are the two legs, but they have a little joint in the middle so that they can wiggle back and forth. So we're going to create that little joint in the middle that allows them to move, that little space. And then we're going to draw the next part of the leg, um, like kind of from the knee down. So it's another box just like this top one. Line down, line down, and then a line across like that. And then the same thing on this side, a line down, a line over, a line down. So those are your legs. And then we need the feet at the bottom. And the feet are going to look like just little rectangles because they're facing straight at you. So they're just going to look like rectangles from the front. So now you have the body, the legs, and then we need to make the arms. So for the arms, we're going to go back up where the shoulders are. And we're going to go just where the curve ends here. And we're going to make a curved line that comes down and out like this. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So it's going to come curve down and out like this. Then you're going to make a line that goes straight down like that and straight down like that. Then we need to make where the wrists, um, like where the hands connect to the arms. So that at the end of it, it's kind of like a circle. So it's going to be a curved line like this that goes all the way and touches its side. And a curved line like this that touches the side. And then under those curved lines, we're going to do two smaller curved lines. So just a little curve like that, and a little curve like that, where the wrist um, touches the hand, or touches the arm, I mean. And then we're going to do two little lines that come out, two little lines that come out. 
and then we're going to do a curved line and another curved line on this side. And those are the hands. So then they go in just a little, in just a little, and then a half circle to go around and finish them. And then you're going to do the same thing on this side. So it's going to be a curved line and a curved line. Two little lines that go in and then a line that goes all the way around in the middle like that. So we have the hands, but right now they're not attached to the arms. They're just kind of floating. <laughs> so we are going to take and make a curved line that touches here and a curved line that touches there to attach it. And the same thing on this side, curve line, curve line. So now we have the arms, the hands, and the rest of the body. One last thing, if you want, you can make a little curved line right here and a little curved line like right here, and that's kind of like you can see the inside of the hand a little bit. So now in the next video, um, we're going to look at different things you can add, different types of hair, different types of faces, different shirt designs, things that you want to add to make it look like you instead of a random Lego person.